Do you think age is important to play the game? No. I think that, however, you do need to be exceptionally good if you are of older age. Like, basically, if you're older, you should definitely be better than the younger players. Does that make sense? Empiros, thank you for the sub. I appreciate that. Like, I'm talking about competitive, you know? If you're talking about, like, just climbing in solo queue, dude, you can be 40 and be a challenger player. Like, it's it really is about the amount of time you have to invest. I think the amount of, uh, like, available uh, free time you have correlates to rank more than um, age does, like, a lot more. Like, basically, a player playing this game 10 hours a day and a player playing 2 hours a day, like, the guy that plays 10 hours a day is going to be better at the game, you know? Shocker, I know. Who would have guessed? So, like, I think that's what, like, makes age so, like, such a big deal. Nothing else, really. Like, I, I don't think it's anything else, personally. I just age is a really big deal. If you're old, you better be good. If you're trying to go pro, yes. It, or if you are a pro, yes. If you're just an average Joe playing league, do whatever the fuck you want, man. Just play. Have fun. Forget about everyone else's opinions for a second. I think that's the beauty of gaming at the end of the day, and it's why like single player games, at least for me, appeal like a lot more than multiplayer games. I enjoy multiplayer games that are kind of single player. Like League for me is a multiplayer single player game. Like I, I rarely like play with like like, the only time I play with other people is when I play with my girlfriend, right? For the most part, other than, like, playing competitively in a team, sure. But, like, for example, I don't consider, like, Champions Q to be playing with other people, or I don't consider uh, Solo Q to be playing with other people. Like, for me, it's like, I'm simulating this, like, I'm tr simulating a similar environment to everyone else by playing s solo. Does that make sense? But yeah, anyway. Solo queue for me is very much solo, so like I, I'm playing by myself and I'm competing against other people that are playing by themselves. That's how I see that. There are kids 16 year old challenger yeah I, I was 14 when i hit challenger I, I don't know what your point is you know it's not really a contest of how young you hit challenger it doesn't matter like i know people that have hit, hit challenger at a young age and are just not suited for competitive play as well being a competitive player is very different from um like, being a competitive player is extremely different from being a, uh... I think what you might call it. A solo queue player. I mean, it's just, like, simply put, the way you interact with people, like, carries a lot of weight. Very basic things, like respect, um, just in general, honesty, kindness, like, they go a really long way. And a lot of like, young people, they, they, don't, they haven't developed these skills because, like, they've been playing video games their entire fucking lives, right? So, they don't have any of these necessary skills to be functional on a team, and as a result, <clears throat> you basically get put in the gauntlet, you know? It's like, either you develop those skills, or you end up being a bit of a dickhead, and then no one likes you, and no one likes you, people don't want to play with you. And there's a lot of pro players that I know of um, that have this issue, where it's just like, it isn't that they aren't talented, it's the fact that they don't have the capacity to work within a team as a part of a working unit. You know what I mean? It's the same for everyone, like, when they go to work and they get their first job, whatever, right? The biggest difference is in esports, you get treated like a king, you know? Like, literally. Like, I came into esports and, like, you have a manager that helps you do everything. Um... You know, any and all paperwork that needs to be done. Basically, anything that makes you an adult, it gets then done for you. So, like, you have zero responsibilities other than eat the food that gets put on the desk and play the game. Which obviously is, like, let's be real, piss fucking easy, right? Like, anyone can do that.
It's called a lack of social skills? Absolutely. Nemesis? I don't think Nemesis had a lack of social skills. I don't think so. Organizing your team sounds awful with this community. It's not, it's not that bad. Like, like I said, there's a lot of people that are good human beings. There's just some of them that aren't. In that situation, I really doubt I could improve and compete at that level. I mean, like I said, like, it's like you're here on, like, basically, if you're a rookie and you're playing on other rookie teams, like, it's very rare that people are level headed in those teams, you know, like, they know what their responsibility is and they do whatever. Uh, a fun fact about, uh, and this is what I share with, I share this with every single academy team, that I, like, any academy player or anything I talk to is like, bro, when you're playing in scrims in an academy, no one expects you to carry. If they thought you couldn't carry, they wouldn't have fucking hired you. They expect you to do... Well, basically, they expect you to go through the motions that proves that you are teachable, coachable. That you are able to set aside your differences and listen to what the greater whole thinks is the right way to play. That is what people are trying to teach in, in an academy system. It's the same for URL and stuff, you know? Like, at the end of the day, if they thought you couldn't carry, they wouldn't hire you. They'd just be like, this guy is shit. I don't think we should hire him. He can't carry. And that's about it, right? Ah, uh, Fiora, I'm down for a Darius game. Uh, I like this matchup. I mean, this matchup is fun, basically. Uh, I don't think it's free win or anything, but I enjoy playing this matchup. I have fun playing it, so I'm going to play it. It's definitely, winning. it's definitely winning for Fiora early game, but that's what makes it fun for me, so I enjoy it. <clears throat> I could pick Jace as well. I totally agree with you. I've been playing competitive last three years. It's not a lot of experience compared to you. Nah, three years is a lot of experience. That's like half mine. That's pretty good. But I faced some players that didn't have the correct uh, mindset team environment. Like this player is that, uh, and I've heard like people mention it, this player is that will not play uh, certain champions because they care more about their branding as a carry player um, or like their branding as a, a, as a fucking carry jungler or a carry top laner or a carry mid laner, whatever, than winning. You know what I mean? That's fucking stupid. The fuck? One of the most selfish things you can do as a player, in my opinion. Like, to me, that's, like, ridiculous, you know? Like, I don't even get that. Enemy team seems very AD-focused. You are not wrong. They have a lot of physical damage. Though virus can go AP. Is this in lower leagues, or have you heard of this in major leagues? Both. And multiple players, like, it, it's it's not uncommon, like, and by not uncommon, I mean, like, I would say one out of ten teams has a player like this pretty much every single split. <clears throat> Which I guess if you put it this way, like, one out of fifty, it ain't that, like, the sample size ain't that big, but it's bigger than it should be. It should be zero, let's be real. Caring about what Reddit has to say about your, like, Basically caring what Reddit has to say about your um, your style of play or whatever. Like, let's be real. What a lame way to play. Alright, I'm fine with this room setup. Like, what a lame way to think about it, you know? <laughs> if I play TP, that makes the matchup much easier for me. Playing against Ignite Fiora is much harder than TP Fiora. 